So the select by previous mesh operation that was added a couple of releases ago um, is an incredibly useful mesh operation because it allows you to do things without being reliant on polygon IDs. So for example, if I run a poly bevel here and then select by previous, I can then choose a previous mesh operation to use. In this case, it's poly extrude. And then it gives me options, options for side and front. So I choose sides for the poly bevel and then bevel, it'll just it'll just bevel those side polygons. Now that's good because I can go back to the text and change the text and that bevel isn't, isn't going to be destroyed. Unfortunately the select by previous mesh operation didn't support um, very many uh, mesh operators. So in 11.2 we've added support for slicing tools and also boolean tools. So first of all there's support for intersecting edges. So I've got two objects in here and I'm going to do a boolean. So I'm going to union those two objects and then I'm going to run a an edge bevel and I'm going to select by previous. So I'll choose the boolean and I'm going to choose intersecting edges. So now if I run the bevel it's just going to bevel any edges that intersect the two objects. So if I go back to the driver I can move it through the object and you can see the bevel will update and I can also add geometry into that and that edge bevel isn't going to get destroyed. So in this example I've got a subtraction of the two objects with a boolean. Well, this time if I add a create UV map, uh, let's select and make it an atlas UV. So by default it will atlas the whole object, but I can tell it to only UV certain portions of it based on the boolean. So if I go to selection that selection, select by previous, choose the boolean. I can say let's only UV the polygons from the geometry or only UVs the polygons from the driver surface. So in this scene I'm using a solid drill to stencil this shape onto the surface. Now if I want to bevel that I can add a polygon bevel and again select by previous, select the solid drill and this time choose stencil polygons. So it's only going to choose the polygons that have been that are within that stencil area. And then we'll just give it a little bit of an offset. But now because it's cutting across different polygons the poly ID doesn't matter. So I can move the driver and that bevel will remain, in, will remain intact. And also the slice mesh operator gives you various options. So I've sliced through this cube. I'm going to split it and put a gap in there. And I'm going to cap the sections. Now if I do, for example, a polygon bevel, I can then select by previous select the slice and I've got two options intersecting edges or cap sections. So cap sections will allow me to bevel um, the two the, the capped areas between, within the slice. Um, alternatively if instead of using polygon bevel if I use an edge bevel and run select by previous and this time choose intersecting edges, it'll now allow me to um, it'll now allow me to bevel the uh, the edges um, of those cap sections.